Sure, take the rainbow, but let me go back with you. Maybe I can help. No, Megan. It's our fight. Why can't we just dig it out? That's impossible. The congealed smooths has created an impenetrable shell. I'm afraid we're stuck with it. No, I'm stuck with it, big mouth. It used to be quite popular in Rome. Just keep your eye on the sky. I'll get you through safely. Great idea, Wind Whistler. Good thing you came along. We'll make it for sure now. Help me! I'm falling! Hold on! I can't! Ah! Hey, Ben! Are you alright? I'm fine. Thanks to Wind Whistler. It's easy to be courageous when helping others. Gee, Wind Whistler, that's beautiful! I love the way you talk! Don't be such a chicken! What was that? It's only a tree branch! An oak, I believe. Nothing to be frightened of. Wait! There's no need to panic! No panic! That is illogical. Interesting. Perhaps the bell is the repository of his power. Repository? Oh, yeah, right. What'd she say? We may learn something of consequence by interrogating him. Yeah, and he might tell us things if we ask him questions, too. Megan, help me! I'm scared! Get me down! She's in trouble. We gotta do something. <laughs> Salt? Salt has a corrosive effect if we sprinkle it on the bubble surface. Good idea, Wind Whistler. Let's go! Push it that way, Wind Whistler. Over the pond! I believe the coins are responsible, Megan. I saw Baby Lickety Split standing on one as she made her wish and the coin glowed and dematerialized. Megan, it is obvious that the metaphysical power of these coins can have unforeseen and hazardous side effects. Not only that, but wishing on them can get us into a lot of trouble. The baby sea ponies, they've run out of water. They will not long survive out of their natural habitat. I know, Wind Whistler. We've come too far to retreat now, Megan. The only course is straight ahead. Galaxy, the cactus. Use your horn on the cactus. There might be water. Hey, you're right, water. We are hardly in a position to make demands. How about a dictionary? I suggest we traverse that overpass when we encounter it. Huh? She means we should cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, right. I wish we were as light as a feather. But only momentarily. <laughs> Wind Whistler, am I ever glad to see you? Climb on, hurry! Thanks for saving my life. I could hardly do otherwise, Megan. I would risk anything for a friend. For friendship, after all, is the most important treasure there is. Polo is not difficult. Keeping the ball in play is a simple matter of potential energy meeting mass and being converted into kinetic energy. Huh? What well, Wind Whistler means, Jamie, is just wet it with your nose. I object! The rules explicitly state that the ball may not be engaged by unicorn magic. It is called the Mystificent Forest, and there are those who still hold to the hypothesis that a strange enclave flourishes beyond. Huh? <sighs> I'm simply saying... <laughs> <laughs> Wind Whistler! 
But it's a thrill being somebody else, somebody other than me. Instead of being stiff and stern, I'm wild, I'm cross, I'm free. Fizzy took control and restored everything to normal. <laughs> I did? I mean, how did I do that? Balance? What balance? <laughs> what are you talking about? As I said, everything is back to normal. <laughs> Valentine's friend gallop away at sunset. Huh? It is illogical to begin a long journey just as the sun is setting. Who cares what the sun was doing when he had to leave his one true love? Yeah, how can you ask a question like that at a time like this? Time like what? Oh! I fail to understand this display of sentiment. It is just a story, after all. Wind Whistler, it's too bad you weren't around when the feelings fairy was passing out feelings. <laughs> I do have feelings. Which I think you two just proved. Yeah, by hurting them. Way to go, Buttons. What? <laughs> I have feelings. I merely refrain from expressing them at the drop of a hat. Don't feel bad, Wind Whistler. They didn't mean it. Everyone, please remain calm. Calm? Calm? Only someone with no feelings could remain calm at a time like this. I meant that we need a plan of action. She is beyond help. Logic clearly dictates that we save ourselves. Gosh, Wind Whistler, how could you just go off and leave poor Gusty? What else would you expect from somebody with no feelings, Buttons? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead? What are you talking about? What's the matter with you? You really don't like anyone, do you? I mean it. Go ahead. I don't care what you do with her. You're crazy if you think I'll buy that. I'm perfectly serious. I've been surrounded by these romantic idiots for so long, it is refreshing to find one such as yourself. Wind Whistler, how could you? Pay no attention to them, Crunch. You really don't care what I do to her? That sentimental fool? Certainly not. Good, cause I'm gonna turn her to stone! Ah, I thought so! You do care, don't you? Wait! I'll prove I'm on your side! By giving you your next victim! Ah! Yeah, that's it, Wind Whistler! Bring me to him! I knew you wouldn't turn against this, Wind Whistler! It's wonderful when you can't care! Wind Whistler, uh, we're sorry we said you had no feelings. And we, uh, we want to thank you for doing what you did back there. Why? Logic alone dictated my actions. It would have been too much trouble to carry three heavy stone statues all the way home. Just kidding. At this point, the only thing that would cheer me up is a nice big ice cream cone. And I mean a huge one. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, butter, pecan? Oh, here we go again. <clears throat> Pardon me, but I believe I can expedite matters. <clears throat> Lickety Split would like a 200-foot sugar cone filled with 200 scoops of Rocky Roll. Each scoop to be four feet in diameter, and the entire confection should be covered with two tons of chocolate jimmies. You got it. Fleetfoot, I challenge you to a race. The winner gets the crescent. On one condition. If you lose, you become my servant. Forever. Done. They seem to intuit their precise locations. What? They knew where they were. 